Hey, what's up team? Uh, we're here in Gisborne. I'm here with Matt from Air New Zealand. He's actually the guy who helped us to fly stock in for Christy, uh, who runs a business here called Bit by Bit. Uh, it's an amazing to be here and meet the people that we've been helping that you know we haven't met in person. So it's going to be an epic day where we can go and visit people, spread hope. We're going to three schools. I'm looking forward to seeing the kids, maybe putting them through a workout, meeting some of the community groups, uh, and, and hearing firsthand uh, the experiences here and what can be done better because this will happen again so we have to learn from it so let's go uh, we're bang on schedule chris is very very organized we're at tikaraka school our first stop uh, so tell us this was one of the places that uh we you brought some of the boxes that we sent over yeah for sure we brought a box uh, a pallet load of your bbm boxes which went out to the community here and a pallet of wheat bix too because this is where they were feeding 300 to 400 people um day in and out for a good two weeks this was one yeah. of us this was the civil defense center here yeah, and is. one of the hardest hit areas yeah for sure definitely so many homes that have been lost here um yeah it's a it's a hard hard area here that's needs a lot of aroha mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're here to give so we're here to give our excuses <laughs> Our principal Renee Savage, um, she managed to get, she lives in town, she managed to get out here and drive through the floods on her truck and realise that some of our people had been, um, had been, you know, had been evacuated from their homes. Renee, for us at the school as a principal, was able to work with other community leaders and our school ended up being the hub. Uh, we went to Te Karaka school first, had an amazing welcome there and I met a father. Uh, we just hugged um, and it was a really amazing exchange for me to to meet a family that we've never met before but that we've helped and, and to see the, the impact. And it's one thing watching it on the news or seeing it online but when you see it firsthand and you see the, the scale of the devastation, it's something else. You know, you know, from there went to Ormond School, had a talk there to the students. We always believe that it, um, if someone's in need and, you, and you're able to help, that you should help, you know, to give them a hand up. Then we went to Gisborne uh, Intermediate, you know, and got to have a talk to some of the students there and just try and leave some aroha and some hope, you know, and just let them know that even though we're going through so much struggle, greatness can come from the One thing about all of this is if you took away the council or the, any kind of government out of this response, the people will still find a way. But if you took away the volunteers and all the businesses that came in, all the people coming in with diggers um, and all the volunteers driving from here, there and everywhere, if you took that away, there would be no recovery. If we solely relied on, on um, bureaucrats and government support, there would be no recovery. And, uh, that's my lesson. So how can we learn? Well. Here it is, community, business, government, and all governments working together and committed for long term, because uh, it's going to take a long time to recover from. But we can do it. We can.